Hello, my name is Arif, and today I'm going to talk about amphibians. And what are amphibians? Amphibians is a Greek word which means to live in two worlds, and those worlds are land and water. So, what that means is amphibians is a Greek word which means they live in water and in land. And then, and then, and what worlds means is that, uh, some, so sun, some animals live on land and some animals live on water. Like fish, like fish, like, uh, salmon, they don't live on land, they live in the water. But, but frogs, they live in land and the water. But, um, uh, Deers, they don't live in water, they live on uh, land. So it's like frogs are both land and water. So, and, and what that means is amphibious. And what those animals are called are amphibious. And that's how amphi amphibians got its name. So amphibians means basically uh, a group of amphibians. Amphibians means a group of animals, which are these animals, which live in water and in land. But, but amphibious, like capybaras, they are amphibious, but they're not an amphibians because they're they're not in the certain family of as frogs. It, they're mammals, like. What it means is, um, uh, frogs are amphibians because they're amphibious and they live in water and the land. That's how, why they're, that's how they got their name, amphibians. But, but, uh, capybaras, they're, they're from a different genus. They're from a different family. So they're not amphibians. Because amphibians is a whole family, which which is amphib which, and the whole family is a amphib or amphibious, like salamanders, frogs. They're all um, newts. They're all amphibious. So amphibians can breathe through their skin. So what this means, they have nostrils, but. They can also breathe through their skin, which will be like, they have tiny holes in their skin, which will allow them to breathe through their skin, Ox which allow them to breathe oxygen through their skin. Um, amphibians need to stay moist to survive, and they need to stay moist to survive, because if they're not moist, they'll dry, and then it's imagine it like a worm worms worms need to be moist to survive like wet and then if they're dry and then if they're in the light all day they'll dry out and then they're the water they they'll dehydrate though they won't have any water to to stay moist and then they will die that's basically what happens with frogs Amphibians need, and then also amphibians have tiny holes in their skin to help absorb the water and oxygen, like I, like I said a few minutes, a few seconds ago. When a frog croaks, it puffs up its skin around its neck. So croaking is, have, have you, have you heard of ribbit, 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 that sound? Um, that sound comes when a frog croaks. See, where my cursor is at, that's the chin. And then at the chin, it puffs up like a bubble. And then it really, and then it vibrates, which causes frogs to croak, which causes the noise. And that's what causes the frog croaks. Frogs are indicator species. So indicator spe what indicator species means 
as if they're if they're supposed to live in that ecosystem but they're not in that ecosystem it's probably that ecosystem isn't a healthy ecosystem but if lots of them are there it's a healthy ecosystem and and if also if they're if it's there in the if those animals are there in the ecosystem but have deformations it's an unhealthy ecosystem and if the ecosystem have has those animals but but no deformations it's a healthy ecosystem thank you for watching my video please like and subscribe to good science knowledge thank you